circumstances, this place is as electric as you would have hoped. And we are off and running here in Salt Lake City. Bogdanovich finds Mitchell, and he gets way to work high off the window. Obviously, Dallas, they went at him. Whoever he was guarding would set screens on the ball to get a switch to get him an isolation. The Dallas Mavericks have lost 11 straight trips here in Salt Lake City. Haven't won here since April of 2016. Dinwiddie got into some trouble. Brunson a smart cut, well played. Has to fade and hits. Tough shot by Brunson. Tough shot. I love this young man. Dinwiddie misses badly. Up the floor comes O'Neal. This is Conley into the paint. Exquisite pass to Gobert. Old percentage regular season player in the NBA with the efficient slam. That's Dorian Finney-Smith. What an improvement. One point Utah lead. We just crossed the eight minute mark. Brunson against Mitchell. Key matchup in this game. Brunson the spin and hits. That's his second basket. I mean, this kid is theft. Up the floor for Reggie Bullock. And now Dallas will reset. Brunson the other night. First Maverick to ever post 40 plus without a turnover in a playoff game. And he is coming for more. And, and, and it's really simple, right? Always love to engage with our fans. So join us throughout the night by answering our poll questions and trivia. Just scan the QR code on your screen to play. Our first question, will Jalen Brunson score at least 20 points here tonight in game three? You had a little little head start. <laughs> Maybe we should have asked this uh, right at the start of the game. I mean, the way things are going right now. I got I 20 in the quarter. He might, exactly. <laughs> Jordan Clarkson and Hassan Whiteside have checked into the game for the Jazz. Here's Bogdanovich on the box, spins into a double team, and then Bullock. That's what he has brought, the defensive element that they so desperately needed as they have been transformed. Grant, at that end of the floor, four to shoot. A short clock right now, so maybe a quick hitter off this sideline out of bounds, but the offense has not been efficient like it had been in the regular season. Give credit to Dallas and their defense. Mitchell's three off the handoff from Whiteside. What are you seeing from Utah's offense? Yeah, right now there's no flow, no rhythm. They're not getting good looks, good shot opportunities. And obviously everything is contested, and you got to give credit to Dallas and their defensive game plan. No flow right now to the offense of the Jazz. Three pointer from Powell won't go. He was set up perfectly by Brunson. But at this end of the floor, Utah just two points in the last five minutes. Clarkson, but he has been instant offense off the bench. They desperately need a big night from Clarkson, the NBA's reigning sixth man of the year. One point Dallas lead. We come up on the midway point of this opening quarter. Jazz took the opener. Did what he curls right back to the paint. Try to catch Whiteside, but he was unable to finish. I, said that, I think here. Missed opportunity, really couldn't get out in transition. Although Clarkson still able to be effective attacking off the bounce. And you said it best, instant offense. He and Bogdanovich have been so efficient thus far in this series. Need others, though, to step up. Clarkson second among NBA reserves in scoring behind Tyler Hero. Here's Brunson, three-pointer, no. Powell skies in for the rebound. This is Fetty Smith, way off. Mavericks have missed their last four shots. Jazz suddenly back in front. Here comes Clarkson looking for more. He missed it. Good look at the rim and then last touch by the Jazz. As Clarkson with the edict to immediately try to take this game over. Yeah, three straight possessions. He's attacking off the bounce, getting to the rim. So we wonder if Quinn Snyder had talked about that. The need for dribble penetration, but I like they're getting stops and then getting out in transition and giving themselves opportunities to score before the defense gets set. Maxi Kleba, one of the stars for Dallas in game two, has checked in. 25 points on a night that he hit eight threes in that game. Here he is, but he doesn't waste much time. Corner pocket three from Kleba. And I was going to say before, Whiteside, you, maybe you're a little too far off of him. When a guy's hot like that, you want to stay close to him at all times. Clarkson up top. Nasty finish from Whiteside. 
Once again, Clarkson attacking, not settling, driving that closeout, creating that opportunity for Whiteside. Well, we expected fireworks here tonight. These two teams have not disappointed. Mitchell again turning up the defense. Out to Kleba, he'll fire. Splash! What has gotten into Kleba? Maxi Kleba, who prior to game two was shooting 19% from deep since the All Star break. As Mitchell misses, he has been dealing with an ankle injury for about the last month. But my goodness, Brunson takes a little bit of a shove here from Clarkson. That'll be his first. Well, that ankle looked good on those last two shots by Kleba. And if you talk about the chess match, when Kleba's out there as the center for Dallas as they go small, Whiteside and Gobert, their tendencies are to come help on dribble penetration. You have to stay attached to him. He is continuing with his hot shooting from downtown here in game three. Josh Green, the second year kid from Arizona, has checked in for Jason Kidd. And meantime, Daniel House, 16 man out of Texas A&M on the floor for the Jazz. They made an adjustment now. They have Bo Bogey on Kleba. Finney Smith right through the teeth of the defense. And because Dallas spaces the floor, five guys on the perimeter, a back cut like that.